Hi, this is Dave Cabellis. Today I'm going to introduce you to Dynamic Clusters, a new feature in WebLogic 12.1.2, and show you how Dynamic Clusters can make it easy to roll out a new cluster and then scale up that cluster. To set some context, WebLogic Server is part of the set of products in Oracle Fusion Middleware that formed a foundation for cloud infrastructures. We call this group of products the Cloud Application Foundation. Today I'm going to focus on WebLogic Server and specifically dynamic clusters in WebLogic Server. As I mentioned earlier, dynamic clusters make it really easy to configure a new cluster. You no longer have to individually configure managed servers. Instead, you configure a cluster with the number of servers you want and the server template. From there, the system maps out managed servers with attributes inherited from that server template and, in, and then calculated where necessary. Dynamic clusters also make it really easy to scale up a cluster. You can set your cluster size to the number you'll eventually need and then just start what you need when you need it. Or you can simply increase the number of dynamic servers in the cluster. WebLogic maps out new managed servers on the fly. By making it really easy to roll out and scale out a cluster, dynamic clusters can be a building block for elasticity in a cloud environment. The WebLogic administration console captures the steps needed to configure a dynamic cluster, and it makes it easy to manage, monitor, and reconfigure a dynamic cluster once you have it up and running. Let's switch over to the admin console and take a look. I'll just log in. Here we have the home page of the administration console. Hopefully this looks familiar to everybody. Let's take a quick look. The first thing here is to make sure that I have a machine configured. Here I have my laptop configured. Uh, by configuring a machine, it enables me, it enables the admin server to talk to uh, machine instances and node managers running on those, on those machines and then start and stop servers as needed. Um, by configuring machines, it also enables us to uh, to map manage servers to machines later to automatically do that mapping as part of the dynamic cluster configuration. So now I'll click clusters. This brings up our list of clusters, and we'll dive right in here. So we click the new button, and we select dynamic cluster, and this kicks off the dynamic cluster wizard. I'm going to rename our, our cluster just so we know it's a dynamic cluster. And then the rest of this page should look very familiar. Now, this is all standard information that's required when you're creating any cluster in WebLogic. Click Next, and we get to the second page of the dynamic cluster wizard. And now we get into some of the dynamic cluster specific attributes. So first of all, we see the number of servers. Uh, so this will tell us how many servers we want uh, we expect to need at the you know when we first roll out our dynamic cluster. I'm going to just leave this at two. Server name prefix. Uh, so this, when we have a managed server uh, in a dynamic cluster, WebLogic automatically maps out the the managed server names. So every managed server in the cluster will start with this particular prefix. Uh, and then this page also asks us about server template. Um, you can either create a new server template or you can create a new server template based on an existing uh, server template that you may have already set some, some uh, configuration attributes. This is my first one. I'm just going to leave it here. So we'll move to the next, next page. Uh, here's machine mappings. Uh, so I mentioned earlier, uh, WebLogic can map managed servers in the dynamic cluster to any set or subset of machines that you have configured in your domain. Uh, the options here are to use any machine. Um, you could use a single machine. You could host your cluster on one particular machine, or you could use a subset of machines. And in that case, you would enter an expression for um, the machine names that you want to match. I'm just going to use the first option. We're just going to use any. I just have one, as we mentioned before. Uh, clicking next, we get to the listen port and port bindings page. So today we're going to, we're just going to use the, the default here. Um, so this will give us a unique port for every managed server in the, in the dynamic cluster. It'll start at the numbers we have here and then increment them by one for each new managed server that gets started. Uh, and here's our review page. 
So this is telling us that we're going to create a new dynamic cluster. It tells us what the name is, how many servers, uh, what the server name prefix is, that we're going to calculate listen ports, and we're going to calculate machine associations. It also tells us uh, that it's going to create a new server template to base those managed servers on. Uh, and it's going to start the, uh, the port mappings at 7100 and 8100 uh, for plane and SSL, respectively. So let's click Finish. We should be right there. And there you have it. We have a, a cluster configured, uh, ready to have two servers uh, get started. So let's take a look and see. So if we look at the list of servers, we can see that there are two managed servers that are ready to start. Um, this also tells us uh, the template name, the number of servers, uh, the server name prefix. So we can change all of this here. Uh, so let's, in fact, I'll even show you this. We can say, we can change that to three, save the changes, and you'll see we, we dynamically uh, map a new managed server. Let's go to the control tab, and we'll start one of these servers. So you can see how easy it is to just get this up and running. While that's starting, let's uh, let's actually go back and we'll increase this by yet another one. Let's make this four. Save our changes. And we'll see we now have four servers in the list. And if we go to control, we're ready to start any one of these or, or all of them, in fact, if uh, if we want, we can just click all four of these and start them. So there you have it, uh, a very easy four node cluster up and running in just a couple of minutes here. If you want to learn more about uh, dynamic clusters, you can download and install WebLogic Server 1212. Try them out for yourself. You can also get involved in the WebLogic community through Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and other pathways listed here. We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching my video.